it's because of the stories of constituents who've come to me who were desperately needed more support. They've stepped up like thousands of relatives do uh, up and down the country. Overnight, when uh, a relative died, for, for instance, one constituent, uh, had, I'm calling her April to protect her confidentiality, uh, but her sister died of bladder cancer at quite a young age, um, and she stepped in to look after her five-year-old son, another constituent who came to me uh, early on in the pandemic uh, about getting more support. She's looking after a grandchild who was being neglected uh, by, by one of her children and you know, a t toddler left foraging for food in, in bin bags. These, these heroes step in, often at short notice, often overnight, um, enabling children and young people to have a loving home with somebody that they know. They save the care system tens of thousands of pounds and we know that children in kinship care generally have much better outcomes than those who go to be cared by somebody that they don't know. How many children find themselves in a position like this? How many people are affected? Well, it's hard to give you... Uh, sorry, Gloria, there's uh, uh, some emergency vehicles coming behind me, but if you can hear me, uh, it's hard to give an exact number because uh, the government doesn't uh, count them very well at the moment, but we think based on the 2011 census, there's approximately around 160,000 children uh, at any given time uh, living with kinship carers. And you have MPs from other parties backing your proposals, which is absolutely crucial if you're in an opposition party and doing this as a backbencher. What's the next step? Yeah. Well, I, I'm hoping that this will trigger a more of a conversation with ministers. It is difficult, as you know, Gloria, for backbenchers' legislation to actually become law. But I know that ministers in the Department for Education are very supportive of the principle. The challenge will be getting uh, Treasury support for these proposals. And I'll be working cross-party to bring that pressure to bear, both here in the House of Commons and also with colleagues in the House of Lords. And you, you mentioned uh, the Treasury. How expensive would this be? Mm. Well, we know that if you provide uh, allowances for kinship carers and a social worker for kinship carers, the cost is about half of what it is for a child going into care, so around £35,000, as opposed to double that for those who are in foster care. So that gives you an idea of, on, a, on an annual basis, how much it would cost to give care, kinship carers the same level of allowances that foster carers get, um, because the care system just costs an awful lot more. So it will pay for itself. Mm. Uh, and we know that uh, children in kinship care go on to uh, have fewer mental health issues, they hold down a job for longer, they're likely to have better educational outcomes. So it, it's a no-brainer, really. This will save the system. It'll, it'll provide immediate cost savings through the care system and longer-term cost savings in terms of education and health as well.